Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my ethnicity and my identity and being mixed and all of that fun stuff because it's been on my mind a lot recently. I'm taking a diversity and media class in school. I've been to a lot of diversity events in the past month or so and I've also been getting asked a lot more about my ethnicity than usual recently. So I just wanted to sit down and share some of my thoughts with you all and maybe get a discussion started about all of this because I feel like people don't really talk about these things very often. Even in my diversity class and even at some of these events that I've been going to, mixed people haven't really been mentioned all that much and ethnicity has been talked about in a very concrete and rigid way and that's not the experience that I've had with it at all. Before I get into the video I just want to quickly explain what my ethnicity is for those of you that are new to my channel or haven't watched any of my previous videos about it. Basically my dad who you've probably seen on my social media and in my other videos is mostly English and Irish and the other side of my family is Indian as in the country not Native American. If you want to know all the details about my ethnicity I'll link my ancestry DNA video down below so be sure to check that out if you're interested but even though I'm technically mixed in terms of my ethnicity and my race I don't consider myself to be multicultural in the traditional sense. I've never met my grandparents on my Indian side of the family and while I do know a lot of my relatives on my dad's side of the family, most of them live on the other side of the country so I don't really get to see them very often so I didn't really grow up seeing my extended family very often. My family members that you see in my videos and on my social media are my only family members that I see on a weekly basis but obviously my experiences are very different from the norm for mixed people. At least most of the mixed people that I've met identify very strongly as being multicultural so people are always really confused when I try to explain that to them especially since there aren't that many mixed people in the US to begin with. I think it's currently somewhere around 3-5% to but I still get asked about it pretty much every day. I've probably been asked about my ethnicity a dozen times this week and only one of the people asked it in a way that I thought was appropriate. So shout out to Ryan if you're watching this. Most people will just ask me when I'm sitting on the light rail or checking out at the grocery store or working at the front desk at my work and they'll just come up to me and ask me. They won't introduce themselves first. They won't ask me what my name is, they won't ask me anything else, they'll just say what are you, what's your ethnicity, or are you mixed? And I personally don't like it when people ask it like that. I get that most people have probably not met that many mixed people in their lives and they just want to know and learn more about it. But at the same time, there's so much more to me and every other mixed person than our ethnicity. We are actual people, we have lives, we have jobs, we have hobbies, and at least for me most of those things are way more important than my ethnicity. I tell people that I'm mixed when they ask, so I know that they probably won't leave me alone if I don't answer the question, but I would much rather just exist and not have to answer any of these questions and just have people learn who I am through my actions and through what I have to say. But the main point that I'm trying to get out here is just to treat people like people. If their ethnicity means a lot to them, they're going to talk about it eventually. People are just naturally going to talk about things that are important to them over time. I know that sometimes it's hard to be patient and wait for those kinds of answers, but I do think that it's the right thing to do. That's how I treat people in life. I honestly don't remember the last time that I asked someone about their ethnicity. It just usually comes up in conversation if it's important to them. But that being said, I'm really grateful for everything that I've learned. Being a racially ambiguous person, person. It's really taught me to see people as more than just a label or a collection of labels. And it's also really awesome because there aren't that many mixed people so there isn't really a set path that you have to follow as a mixed person. I've only ever met one person in my entire life that is mixed and a grandparent so I never really felt any pressure to follow a certain career path or be a certain type of person or believe anything in particular. I pretty much always felt like I had the freedom to do whatever I wanted to do and explore different options and change my mind a bunch of times and to me that's one of the best things about being mixed. It's worth all the hassle that I to go through in every rude question that I get asked. But I still want to go over a few things that you shouldn't ask people that you think are mixed. The first thing that I've already touched on is to not just ask someone about their ethnicity without introducing yourself to them or getting to know them at all. The second thing that you shouldn't do is just assume that every single mixed person identifies as being multicultural. Some mixed people, including myself, might not have the best relationship with certain members of their family or certain sides of their family, so wait for the person to tell you about their life. The third and final thing that I want to talk about is probably the most annoying question that I get asked as a mixed person, and that question is, is that your real parent or is that your real sibling or something of that nature, especially after I've already introduced the person as being my parent or sibling. First of all, it shouldn't matter whether I'm adopted or my siblings adopted. We're still family if we consider each other family. I personally don't think that family is defined by blood or law. Second of all, it's just rude to assume that someone is pretending that someone else is their family member. So this happens a lot when I'll show people a picture of my brother. A lot of people just don't believe that we're siblings and they ask if I'm adopted or he's adopted. But even if one of us was, I'm 21, my brother's almost 18. We have the same parents on our birth certificates. I slept in the same house as him pretty much every day for the first 18 years of my life. So it's just not something that I really like to argue with people about. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. I've just really been thinking about this a lot and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts with all of you so that you can be a little bit more aware of what it's actually like to live life as an ethnically ambiguous person and to just be asked so many really personal questions on a daily basis. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below and feel free to share your thoughts on anything that I talked about in this video as well and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.